This is a redox reaction given here and we balance this reaction in basic solution. Balancing a reaction in basic solution is quite similar to balancing a reaction in an acidic solution. Well, in an acidic solution, we use hydrogen ions to balance the number of hydrogen atoms and in basic solution, we use hydroxide ions to balance the number of hydrogen atoms. Well, the simplest way is to balance a reaction in an acidic solution first and once the reaction is balanced in an acidic solution, we add hydroxide ion to the equal number of hydrogen ions in the reaction to have it balanced in basic solution. Uh, well, let us balance this reaction in an acidic solution. To balance this reaction, we need to identify oxidation and reduction reaction taking place in this given equation. Well, to identify oxidation and reduction reaction, we write down the oxidation number of atoms on both sides of the reaction. Let me take a copper atom. Copper is a neutral atom. It means that it does not have any charge. Well, the oxidation number of a neutral atom is always zero. That is why copper is having zero oxidation number. In nitric acid, hydrogen obviously has a plus one oxidation number and the usual oxidation number of oxygen atom is minus two. We calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen atom. There is only one hydrogen atom in nitric acid. I put here it is uh, oxidation number plus one plus Oh, well, there is only one nitrogen atom. I put nitrogen atom here because its oxidation number is unknown. There are three oxygen atoms. I put three moles. Well, the oxidation number of oxygen atom is minus two. I put here minus two. Well, we know that the total oxidation number of atoms in a compound is equal to zero or the total oxidation number of a neutral compound is equal to 0. Nitric acid is, is a neutral compound. It means that it does not have any charge. That is why we equalize to 0. Now, we can simplify and find out the oxidation number of nitrogen atom. Here we have plus 1 plus uh, nitrogen. 3 to the 6 we get minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, we can do the subtraction 1 minus 6 is equal to minus 5 and minus 5 is equal to 0. We can transfer 5 on right side, we get n is equal to plus 5. Well, the oxidation number of nitrogen is plus 5. I put here plus 5. On right side, Cu plus 2. This is a monoatomic ion, uh, means it is made up of single atom Cu. Well, the oxidation number of a monoatomic ion is always equal to its total charge. Cu is having plus 2 charge, that is why its uh, uh, oxidation number will also be plus 2. In nitrogen monoxide, oxygen obviously has minus 2 oxidation number. If oxygen has minus 2 oxidation number in this uh, molecule, nitrogen will obviously have plus 2 because plus, uh, uh, plus 2 and minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we can compare the oxidation number of atoms. Uh, let, uh, the oxidation number of Cu is 0 and its oxidation number is increasing from 0 to plus 2. An increase in oxidation number is considered as a oxidation reaction. I put here oxidation. It means that Cu is being oxidized in this reaction. On the other side, the oxidation number of nitrogen is decreasing from plus 5 to plus 2 and decrease in oxidation number is considered as a reduction reaction. I put here reduction. It means that nitrogen is being reduced in this reaction. I label it half reduction and half oxidation reaction. We write down these uh, two half reactions separately. Let me take a, a half oxidation reaction first. Here we have Cu and right side we have Cu plus 2. Well, the charge of Cu is increasing from 0 to plus 2. It means that it is losing electron in oxidation an atom loses electrons and it is losing two electrons. This is a oxidation reaction and in an oxidation reaction, we always add electrons on the right side of the reaction. That is why I added here 
two electrons. Now the charge is R balance. There is no hydrogen, there is no oxygen, that's why we do not consider balancing hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Let me take second half reaction. On left side we have nitric acid and the nitrogen has plus 5 charge and on right side we have nitrogen monoxide in which nitrogen has plus 2 charge. Well, the charge of nitrogen is decreasing from plus 5 to plus 2. It means that it is gaining electrons in reduction reaction an atom gains electrons. Let us find out how many electrons it is gaining. We just find the difference between the charges. We get 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. It means that nitrogen is gaining 3 electrons. Well, this is a reduction reaction and in a reduction reaction we always add electrons on the left side of the reaction to balance the charges. Well, the charges are balanced. We balance oxygen atoms. On left side there are 3 oxygen atoms and so there is a only one oxygen atom on right side. We need two more oxygen atoms on right side. Well, to balance the number of oxygen atoms, we always use water molecules. And since we need two more oxygen atoms on right side, I add up two as two on right side. Oxygen atoms are balanced. We balance hydrogen atoms. Two to the four, we have four hydrogen atoms on right side and we have only one hydrogen atom on left side. Well, we are balancing this reaction in an acidic solution and in an acidic solution we always use hydrogen ions to balance the number of hydrogen atoms because acids lose hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution. Since we need three hydrogen atoms, three more hydrogen atoms on left side that is why I add up here three hydrogen ions. Well, now we add up both half reactions. Before adding up both half reaction, we need to balance the number of electrons. First reaction is having two electrons and second reaction is having uh, three electrons. So that's why I multiply, I just crisscross the numbers. I multiply first half reaction by three and second half re reaction by two. Well, after multiplying these two half reaction by these respective numbers, we get the following equations. Uh, we multiply first half reaction by three, we get uh, 3 Cu. On right side we have 3 Cu plus, uh, plus 2 and plus 3 to just 6 we get uh, 6 electrons. And in second half reaction we get 3 to just 6, 6 hydrogen ions plus 2 moles uh, nitric acid plus uh, 2 3 just 6 we have 6 electrons. And uh, on right side we get two moles nitrogen monoxide and uh, two to the four four water molecules. Now the number of electrons in both half reactions are balanced. We can add up both half reactions. Well, uh, there are equal number of electrons, but they are on opposite side. That's why we cancel the, them out. Now we put all the reactants together on left side and all the products together on right side. Here we have three Cu plus six hydrogen ions and plus two moles nitric acid. On product side we have three Cu plus two plus two moles nitrogen monoxide plus four water molecules. This is a reaction balanced in an acidic solution. Well, to have this reaction balanced in basic solution, the simplest step we add hydroxide ions to the equal number of hydrogen ions. Well, in this reaction there are 6 hydrogen ions. That is why I add up 6 hydroxide ions on both sides of the reaction. Well, 6 hydrogen ions and 6 hydroxide ions makes uh, 6 water molecules. On right side we have 4 water molecule, uh, we subtract 4 water molecules from 6 water molecules we get uh, left uh, with 2 water molecules. Well now the final equation we have uh, that is 3 Cu plus 2 HNO3 plus 2 moles H2O. On right side we have 
थ्री सी यू प्लस टू प्लस टू एन ओ प्लस सिक्स ओ एच हाइड्रोक्साइड आयन दिस इज ए रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन बैलेंस्ड इन बेसिक सोल्यूशन